Hey guys, e 2 here, and today I'm going to show you guys the cheapest possible way to unlock the brand new Player of the Month, Hong Min Son. Now, there are three different score builder challenges you have to complete. The first is a Premier League team with a minimum of one Spurs player, a minimum of 82 rating and 100 chemistry. That does get you two premium gold players back, so that is 50,000 coins worth of packs back from that, which is pretty good. We then have to build a Korea Republic team, so all you need for that is just a full Korean team with a minimum of 70 rating and uh, obviously 100 chemistry as well. That does get you a premium gold pack. So a seven and a half K pack, which is not too bad. And this is a slightly tricky one. The final one that is 11 nations. You need exactly 11 nations. So everyone has to be from a different nationality. You need uh, six players, a uh, maximum from one league, but you also need a team of the week player. So I will show you guys quite an easy way to complete this. But you do need a team of the week player and also 78 racing minimum and 100 chemistry. That gets you a gold players pack, which is one rare gold player and 11 non rares, which is decent if you do get some Premier League players. So this is the first one right here. This is the, the Korea Republic team and all I did for this was I just sniped a couple of gold cards and put them into a team and then just built uh, kind of a bronze team around them you can see the price of these cards I picked them up for got them for like 200 coins some of them I got packed in the bronze pack method but generally I was getting them very very cheaply I did pay slightly more than I needed for those couple of silver players um, but uh, yeah I, I did this pretty much like the hour it came out so I spent quite a lot more than you'd expect but we did end up spending just like 500 coins or so on those gold players because I sniped them. So just try and snipe some gold players and then build a bronze team around them. But as you can see here, this is the pack we do get back. I spent around 7,000 coins on that score builder challenge there. And we get Tiago back from it. So I'll be looking for around 7 to 8k back from this to make some coins back. We get Tiago goes for 700 coins. Uh, Mendy right here goes for 600. So that's already a few coins back. All those consumables go for 200 coins each. So right now we're looking at looking at a decent amount of coins back. That middle bracket also sells for 200. And we get Ahmed Musa who goes for just over 3k. So I actually made about 5 or 6k back from that pack. Which is not bad at all considering I spent 7k on the team. This is the Premier League team. Uh, I used Vorming Goal as my Spurs player. And then I just use Sacco, Terry, Damian, Barry, like quite high rated players, but who don't sell for too much. And if you guys have, for example, an untradeable Ivanovic in your club, just use him instead of Damian. You don't have to use exactly the same team. You can use, for example, Sigurdsson instead of Bojan. You could just use players, if you've got any untradeable players in your, in your club who are in the Premier League, try and incorporate them into this team. But I spent around 40,000 coins on the team right there, and that got me a decent pack back from it, because 40,000 coins, I'm getting two... 25k packs, so that's 50k worth of packs for spending 40k. We get Cruz in this pack and Rico, not the best of packs, but I mean, I can sell these things on. We get Jale, who goes for about a thousand coins. We get a couple of Premier League players, they'll both go for uh, around a thousand coins too because of this score builder challenge right here. And then the next 25k pack, we don't get the best of, uh, of rewards back from this. We do get Tosic in the pack, but like I probably got around 10,000 coins back from these two packs there. But if you guys get lucky, you could obviously get an inform. You get a really good player in one of these packs. We actually get a Korean player who goes for two and a half K, which is not too bad. But uh, yeah, those weren't the best of packs. You could get a lot luckier than me though. So moving on to the final squad builder challenge, this is the 11 nations team and all you need to do here, I, bas I basically just built one side Schalke, one side AC Milan and you just want to find a team that has got players from a lot of different nations and then you just want to put them into this team. 78 rating so you can use some bronze players and some silver players like I've done here and then you just want to put the cheapest inform you can snipe up front. If you've already got an inform, put them up front. But you actually have to play 10 games offline with this team to get the loyalty chemistry. It took me about 20 minutes because you don't have to play them. There's actually a glitch, which I'll leave a link down below to, which Nepenthes has done a video on, which gets you the loyalty chemistry, which you need to do to get full chemistry. And it allows you to complete this team and make it a lot cheaper by actually getting that loyalty chemistry. And yeah, it took me about 20 minutes, so just go and check that video out if you don't know how to do the loyalty chemistry glitch. As you see though, that got me Hong Min Son, and uh, we are going to be moving on to the pack in a minute as well. But all you need to do is just find a team that has got uh, quite a few different nationalities, just build one side with one team, one side with another team, again with a lot of different nationalities, and then just put a random inform up front. Has to be an inform, it can't be a one to watch card or something like that. Has to be a team of the week player. And the pack got me Maya. Again, not the best of packs, you guys could get a lot luckier. That was just an average pack, really. We do get some non rares though, like uh, Ramos there and Dawson, who will sell for quite a bit. And I made around 10,000 coins back from this pack because quite a few of these players actually sell for quite a lot because of the gold upgrade score builder challenge because of quite a few other score builder challenges i actually made around ten thousand coins from this pack right here so if we look at what i spent compared to what i actually got back from this this challenge is actually definitely worth it in my opinion now i spent in total around eighty thousand coins to complete this challenge that's quite a lot less than the raheem sterling one because that obviously had man city players and they went for a lot more 
than the Premier League players and some of the players you do have to buy for this challenge right here. So I think the, the Sterling one cost me around 120k. This only cost me 80,000 coins. And for a card as good as Hungman Son, I mean, you're getting a pink and purple card that's got 87 shooting, really good pace as well, great dribbling, five-star weak foot, and he plays in the Premier League. You're getting a really, really good card who's worth more than 80,000 coins. And if you look at what I spent compared to what I actually got back from this, I spent around about 40 to 50,000 coins on the Premier League team. That got me 50,000 coins worth of packs, and I got around... 12,000 coins worth of players back from those packs now you guys could obviously get lucky you could get like an informer or a good player and make more coins than me but i got average packs i got around 12,000 coins back from the premier league one after spending about 40 to 50,000 coins on that one the career republic team i spent around 7,000 coins on and i pretty much made my coins back on that i made between five and seven thousand coins back from that pack there which was not too bad and finally, we had the 11 Nations team, and for that, I spent around about 30,000 coins on that, and the majority was that inform. If you are on PlayStation, uh, you can get that inform quite a lot cheaper, and you'll be able to complete this team cheaper for probably around 20 to 25,000 coins. And again, if you have any of these players already in your club from any of these different squad builder challenges, it is going to be a lot cheaper if you have them as untradeable players, or if you just had them in your club previously because the prices have gone up now, especially for some of the higher rated Premier League players who you can use in these challenges. So you're looking at spending around about 80,000 coins on Xbox One at least, maybe about 70k on the PlayStation, and personally I got around 30,000 coins back. So that's about 50k basically that I've had to spend to get a really, really good card. It's a rare card as well, so when you come up against people online, they're going to see that you've got that card and they're going to know that you uh, know about FIFA, that you know, that you know what you're doing, especially kind of in the later months of FIFA. Some people may not even know how you get that card, so it's pretty cool to have a really rare card in your team. And since it is a first owner card that you're going to have in your team for a long time, obviously, because you can't sell it or anything, you could get a really good record with it. You get, like, 100 goals with it, and that's what I'm going to be doing with Son and Sterling. I have both of them, and if you do want me to do a squad builder on them in the next couple of days, comment down below. I'm actually going to be trying to get them to, like, the best records I can. I want to score, like, a 1,000 goals with Sterling or something like that. So, if, especially if you're, like, a Tottenham fan or something, really good for you to obviously go and get that Son, but I would definitely recommend this. Even if you only have like 100,000 coins, I say only, but considering you spend about 80,000 coins on this, I would definitely recommend it. Go and get this card because even if you get bad packs, you're likely to get around 40 to 50,000 coins back and you're only going to be spending about 80k. And if you get lucky, you never know, you could you could even make profit from this if you get a really good player. Uh, for example, me yesterday actually got Pepe in one of the free packs you get from a squad builder challenge. You can get really lucky in these type of packs. You could get a legend, you could get an inform, you could just get a high rated player who sells for quite a lot. You could maybe get a cheap inform you could use in one of these squad builder challenges. It is very, very easy. You don't have to spend too much and you will get a decent reward back from this because in total you're going to be getting around about 60,000 coins worth of packs, if not a bit more. Uh, you're going to be getting a good amount of, uh, of coins worth of packs back. You spend 80k, you get about 60,000 coins worth of packs. Even from bad packs, you're going to get like 40 to 50k back. It is definitely worth it. I would definitely recommend it. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, drop a like if you did. If it has helped you, I would really appreciate it if you could drop a like. Subscribe if you are new around here. If you do have any issues with any of these score builder challenges, if you do want some extra advice on them, then just comment down below. I'll try and help you out. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.